be fair to say that the ULIP story is pretty much over now? Well, Vivek, uh, well, thanks for you know, asking me to come on the program. I, I wouldn't say the ULIP story is over, but yes, the way the whole scenario has played out over the last couple of years, uh, you know, the investors were, uh, or their policyholders were asked to invest in ULIP, and it was seen as the great mantra in the 2006 to 2008 period, and the market went down. So the experience of the policyholder, as far as ULIP is concerned, has not been very good. And with the, obviously, media getting very active after that, I think generally in the mind of the customer, the ULIP is not such a great story. But I believe after all the changes that have been brought about by the regulator effective to September 2010, ULIP is a great product. A lot of companies can't afford to sell it, but the companies who have the right cost structure to sell it, I do believe ULIP is a good product to be investing in. Uh, yes, we need to give, you know, gain back the confidence of the customer. We need to work with them and, and, and educate them that, yes, this is the product which can be invested for the long term and the returns can be much, much better than what they've experienced in the past. But if you look at the numbers and if you look at the data, it does seem to indicate that most of the insurance companies have shifted to traditional side and the ULIP sales have come down. But I do believe that if we launch the right products, educate the customer, ULIPs could come back and should come back because on a strictly comparative basis, uh, you know, same parameters, same investment, same risk profile, uh, ULIP products can give better returns. So I don't think the story is over. Statistics seem to indicate that, but I think over a period of time, they will come back, and they should come back for the customer. Mr. Mathur, uh, let me pose the same question to you. Do you believe that the manner in which thousands of crores were mobilized by the insurance sector, which ended up going into equity markets, that is really the key issue here, isn't it? Because if we've now come down to about 10% of the total pie being ULIPS going forward, then that really means that much of mobilization into equities by the insurance sector is not going to happen. Yeah, I quite agree with you. The numbers have come down definitely, but be, let us look at the economic environment. We have never seen such a continued long spell of downside in the capital market. Investors have lost a lot of money, their confidence eroded. So naturally, people became a little allergic to ULIPs. Distributors also, because of arbitrage and commission compensation, tended to shift to traditional product. But as the markets recover, as the trend we have been seeing in the last few days, are a strong pointer that going forward, markets are likely to recover. We will see the fund flow coming back to uh, ULIP scheme. As Amitabh said, ULIPs are a good product. They suit uh, you know, young, growing, becoming more affluent classes. And I do see that in a year or two, we will see a healthy balance between traditional and equity products. What we need to do is, uh, regulator especially, is to educate the customer more and more about the, you know, pros and cons of investing in UNIB and not look at these products as a big, um, uh, instrument for becoming rich overnight. That's a strong message and some amount of uh, hand-holding or uh, education is definitely required.